Hello, my name is Katie Sweet. I'm the 4-H Youth Development Extension Educator here in Hendricks County. And um, welcome to all of our mini 4-Hers. We were supposed to have a mini 4-H meeting this past week at the Brownsburg Fire Territory. Unfortunately, due to circumstances beyond our control, we, were, we had to cancel that meeting. But our office has been continually racking our brains for ways that we could keep you guys engaged in the 4-H program. So we have come up with our mini meeting material kits that all of you should have gotten or will be receiving in the mail soon. Um, this kit is going to have some of the activities that we had planned for our March meeting that you can do in the comfort of your own home. So once you get this, you're gonna open it up and you're gonna have lots of goodies in here. First, you will see that you have your very own mini 4-H newsletter. It's got a nice little welcome letter from me, some upcoming events that we have scheduled as of right now in person. Things are constantly changing right now, so those may also change and need to be adjusted. Um, but right now, just some dates to mark on your calendar. Some information about um, projects that you can get involved with, a reminder of upcoming uh, or how our office is still open as of right now. On the back, you also have some fun activities that you can do at home, including a 4-H quiz and a word search based on the mini 4-H sewing project. So the two projects that you will also see in here that we were going to focus on in our March meeting is an activity from our mini 4-H sewing manual and an activity from our mini 4-H gardening manual. So with our mini 4-H um, sewing activity we had planned for you, it was going to be our make a quilt activity. In the packet, you're going to see that you have received the actual activity itself from the, the manual, as well as a quilt page that we'll talk about in a little bit. Some things that you're gonna need to round up from home include scissors, glue, or tape, your preference, a marker or pen or pencil, and if you would like to add to your quilt, you can have additional colored paper around uh, that you have around your house cut into little squares. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your mini 4-H sewing activity and you're gonna cut it up into little squares. The squares don't have to be perfect, don't worry. Um, I've already taken the time to cut out my squares, so if you have, again, additional colors that you would like to add, feel free to include those as well. You're going to take then your glue or tape, whatever you prefer, and you're going to make your own quilt on the other enclosed piece of paper. Now, your quilt can look however you would like. Um, there is no right or wrong way to make a quilt. You're gonna just stick some glue on there, make it however you would like, whatever reflects your personality best. And then we get to do some pretty fun stuff with the quilting. Uh, I wonder, I'm curious if any of you guys have ever quilted before. Uh, I have actually helped a colleague quilt one time and uh, I did not have the patience for it. But there are several talented uh, quilt makers out there I know. So if you are into quilting, um, be sure to you know check out some resources online. Be sure to talk with uh, your parents about um, getting involved with quilting at local organizations. Uh, I know that we also have some quilters in regular 4-H that do different things too. So uh, again, this does not have to be perfect, but here's my quilt. And what you're going to do then is you're going to uh, sew using your pen or marker or crayon, whatever you have, uh, the different places that these uh, pieces connect, just like you would a regular quilt. So you might have some X's, um, you might design, maybe you do a fun little pattern on some of these. Uh, maybe you're into hearts, so you have a heart. We're gonna do a little clover on this one. Um, whatever you would like to pretend to sew. So here is my quilt that I made earlier. So once you're all done, um, your quilt is gonna look probably totally different than my quilt, and that's okay. Uh, if you're interested in exhibiting this at the county fair this summer, be sure to check out our mini 4-H sewing manual for guidelines on how to do that. Uh, keep going and practice, make as many quilts as you would like. Again, now that you've got the basics, you can definitely cut out different colors of piece of paper and make a whole new quilt as much as you uh, would like. So now that we've done our 4-H quilt, I'm sure yours looks awesome, we're going to move on to the next activity that we have in your kit, and that's gonna be the seed in a bag. So this is again in the mini 4-H gardening project, and in your kit that you should have received in the mail is gonna be a green sheet of paper that has the instructions for the kit, a seed growth chart, and you're gonna see your very own bag with a paper towel folded and two lima beans included as well. 
So again, in your kit, you should have received two pieces of paper, our, pack, or our bag, um, paper towel, and two beans. Some things you're gonna need to round up from home include a pen or a pencil, some tape, and some water. So your green piece of paper is gonna be your instructions. It's gonna remind you step by step what you need to do. But the first thing we want you to do is take a look at those beans that are in your bag. And on your seed growth chart, we would like you to draw a picture of your beans. So I'm gonna draw a picture. Uh, again, these do not have to be perfect. I am no artist by any means, but I'm gonna draw a picture of my beans, what they, what they look like. And this growth chart is gonna be used over the next couple days to chart and track how your beans grow and how they change. So uh, after you've drawn a picture of your beans, you're actually gonna stick beans, those beans in a small cup of water and leave them overnight. So we have left uh, a couple of our beans in water. I'm gonna take those out. Ooh, get a little wet. So this is gonna be day two for you guys. Um, and you're gonna again draw a picture of what those beans look like. So um, I'm not gonna tell you exactly, but you know, they might have changed. So you're gonna draw a picture of what those beans have changed to, if they've changed at all. Um, maybe you can describe if you're not a, a person that likes to draw, you can do your best and maybe you use words. Maybe you like to, to write how the changes are. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take those beans and you're gonna wet the paper towel. You don't want it too wet. You don't want it super drippy like this. Um, so you're gonna just take it, you kinda want it damp. You're gonna wring it out a little bit. And then you're gonna put those seeds that you've soaked overnight back into the bag. I'm gonna fold them in here. And I'm gonna put it back into the bag and you're gonna seal the bag tightly. And this is where that tape's gonna come in because what you wanna do is after you've sealed the bag, after your beans are in there with a wet paper towel, you're gonna take this bag and you're gonna tape it to a sunny window. And you're gonna come back every day and look and see how those beans have changed. And you're gonna track that on your growth chart. Um, so once the beans start to sprout, if you'd like, you can transfer these to a uh, pot with um, potting soil. Make sure they have the, the pot has a hole in it so if you water it, it can go all the way through. Um, and make sure if your towel gets dry that you dampen it just a little bit again. So you can take the towel out as needed and get wet. Um, but make sure you're paying attention to what the beans look like, how they change. So when, if you're interested in exhibiting this at the county fair this summer, be sure to check out our mini 4-H gardening project manual for instructions on what that looks like. So now we have done our My Quilt activity from the Mini 4-H sewing uh, manual, and we have done the seed growth chart from the Mini 4-H gardening manual. Again, if you're interested in these two projects or other Mini 4-H projects, be sure to check out our website. You can download any of our Mini 4-H manuals for free uh, at home on your computer. While times right now might not be ideal, we really would love to be having our active, our Mini 4-Hers engaged in our program. Things may be a bit virtual for a while, but that's okay. We're gonna still try our best and live out the 4-H motto to make the best better. This isn't the best situation right now, but we're gonna do our best to make it even better for you and for our 4-H program. So stay tuned for more ways that you can get involved and stay involved with our mini 4-H program over the next couple weeks, even if it's not in person. Follow us on Facebook at Hen Purdue Extension Hendricks County or follow us on Instagram at Hendricks Co. 4-H. We have lots of fun interactive opportunities on our social media as well as our website, so check it out. Follow us on, there's links at the bottom of this YouTube video, and we're hoping to do some more interactive things over the next couple weeks to make sure you guys are, are getting involved and staying involved in the 4-H program. Thank you so much for your time today. Enjoy.